Welcome to this first video on electricity. In this video, we're going to look at voltage, at current, and at resistance, and just really try and understand what each of those three things are, because these three things are going to keep coming up all the way through this topic. So let's try and understand them and how they relate to a circuit. So this diagram is a circuit diagram. Now to start with, these lines up the top here are batteries. They're made up of these little parts called cells. All you need to know is that this overall is called a battery and that the big side is positive and the little side is negative. Now I've just done one positive on the very left hand side, on the really big side, and one negative over here on the right hand side, the small side. Now charge flows around from a battery from positive to negative. It always goes from positive to negative even though in reality, and this might be confusing to start with, but electrons are actually moving in the opposite direction. But back in history, when they just had to decide a direction for current and they didn't understand that electrons existed back then, they chose that current went from positive all the way around a circuit to negative. And that's the way we've kept it ever since then. So when current flows around because a battery is pushing it, it goes from one side, it goes around a wire, around the wire all the other side, and keeps going around until eventually it gets back to the battery again. The battery then charges it up and pushes it off in the same direction. Now this flow of charge has several components and these three factors of voltage, of current and of resistance play the biggest role in working out how this charge travels around a circuit. So that's why we're going to try and understand it. So firstly let's look at voltage. Now voltage is how much energy the battery gives to every charge that goes past. So if a battery was 12 volts, for example, for every coulomb of charge that goes past this battery, it's going to give it 12 joules of energy. That's what 12 volts actually means. Or 9 volts would give each coulomb of charge 9 joules of energy. And that's shown by this formula down the bottom here. The voltage is how much energy every single charge has. So actually think of voltage like the amount of energy that a charge has, because that's actually what it is. Now just when you're looking at this formula, just to be clear, V is voltage, and that's measured in volts. E up the top here is energy, measured in joules, and Q down the bottom here is charge. Now the unit for charge is coulombs. So you can always work out voltage based on its charge and based on how much energy each of those charges has. The next thing you need to know about is current. Now current is how fast each of these charges are moving around the circuit. If the charges are moving really, really fast, lots and lots of energy is going to be delivered to each of these resistors. That's what these boxes are here. So both how fast the charges are moving past a point and how much energy they have will both contribute to how much energy they give to each of these little resistor blocks here. Current is measured by the change in current. So if you put a point and a sticker right at this red arrow down here and you measure how much current goes past this point, that would be change in current. And then you have to divide that by how long did you measure that over it. Because current is how much charge moves past a point every single second. So that's what current is. So here, I is current. Strange symbol for current, but that's what it means. And current is measured in amps. And that's a capital A if you want to write it straight afterwards. Q, again, is the charge. So if 10 coulombs go past a point, Q would be 10. And T is time. How long did it take for these charges to pass a point? So that is your official definition for current. How fast charge moves, or how much charge moves past a point every single second. Now let's look at resistance, which is how much energy everything takes out of the current. This provides an opposition to that flow of charge. Remember, current is how fast charges are moving. Now here, resistors slow it down again. And if they do a really good job of slowing it down, or they slow it down a lot and provide a lot of opposition, that's going to be a big resistance. And you can see this bottom one here has 10 ohms of resistance. That's twice as much resistance or twice as much opposition as this top resistor up here. Now, the key formula you need to know for this one, and this is absolutely crucial for the whole topic, probably going to be the most used formula, is V equals IR. Hopefully you will have come across this in year 11. Voltage equals the current times the resistance. So for example, if we change this 10 ohm resistor to 20 ohms, the resistance in this formula has gone up. And therefore, because we've got the same voltage of 6 volts, to balance it out and have that same voltage, the current would have had to have decreased. 
And that makes sense because more resistance or more opposition, the current's going to slow down because it's got a greater amount of opposition. And this isn't just a formulaic thing where if R increases in the formula, the resistance, the current decreases in the formula. It does, but in real life, the current actually decreases because of that opposition. So it is telling us what's really going on. Now we need to cover one more thing in this video. The one more thing is the definition of series circuits and parallel circuits. A series circuit means you have just one pathway, and a parallel circuit means you have multiple pathways or more than one pathway. So when this top circuit up here, current can flow out of the battery, remember this big one is the positive one, flow around to the resistor and back up the other side. There's only one possible way it can go. Whereas if you look at a parallel circuit, the current flows out of the battery and down the wire, and then it splits up when it comes to this junction. Some of it can pass through this top pathway, and some of it passes through the bottom pathway before it will carry on back up towards the battery. So here's what you need to know for this video. You need to know that V equals IR. This is the most crucial formula. And V in this formula is voltage, measured in volts. I in this formula is current, measured in amps. And R in this formula is resistance, and that's measured in ohms. Now to get into a little bit more depth with current, voltage, and resistance, remember voltage is how much energy is given, or it can be taken away from, each coulomb of charge. The current is how fast each charge is moving, and that's shown by this formula here, current equals charge over time. The fourth definition that you need to know is that resistance is how much a component opposes the flow of charge, how much it opposes the current there. Fifth, we have our parallel circuit definition, which is where there is more than one pathway. And lastly, we have a series circuit, which is when there is only one possible pathway for the charges to flow around. And that's what you need to know. So let's look at a real quick question before we finish up. The questions are, there's going to be two of them, that we need to draw the arrows showing the direction of the currents outside of this battery. And secondly, we need to say how much energy this battery gives to each coulomb of charge. So first, let's draw some arrows to show the direction of the current. Remember this big side here is positive, and the small side here and here is negative. And charge always flows from positive, out of positive, into negative. So the charge flows down this wire and will split up when it gets to this junction here. It will travel through each of these components separately before it comes together again at this next junction and travels back up towards the battery. So actually, this part here is series because there's only one pathway, but this part down the bottom here is parallel because there is more than one pathway. And secondly, when we're looking at how much energy does the battery give to each coulomb of charge, by definition, that means voltage. Voltage is how much energy the battery gives to each coulomb of charge. So if we have a 12 volt battery, that means that we must give 12 joules of energy to every coulomb of charge, because that's what 12 volts actually means. So our answer would be 12 joules. So hopefully that gives you an understanding of what voltage, current, and resistance actually mean. And hopefully you can tell the difference now as well between a series circuit where there's only one pathway and a parallel circuit where there's more than one pathway. Now I know this might seem simple, but it's really crucial you understand these now because we're going to be using all of these definitions in future videos.